I have worked with Pat for the last two and a half years at this property and he was born and raised here in Manhattan. He's very, very well connected. He's been doing hotel engineering for almost 30 years now. There's no one more hardworking, dedicated to come into a property, which is great when you're running 357 rooms in Midtown, to have somebody that's that well connected and that driven and dedicated. There isn't any anything that you can't fix. There isn't any, uh, there's no, no. Everything is, yes, we can do it. And I kind of embrace that philosophy today to tell everybody, Everything is always possible. It's a passion. It's even written on my board downstairs. Everything is possible. Not anything is possible, but everything is possible. It's just a matter of putting your mind to it and uh, having that drive and, and keep pushing forward with it. I know that I can count on him, and it's not just to make sure that the engineering department is running smoothly. He also steps up and will, he does the huddles every Friday. If another manager is off, he'll do an extra one. Uh, you know, really it's not my job is not in his vocabulary. You know, whatever you ask of him to get done, you know, he has a smile on his face and a bounce in his step and he goes out and he makes it happen. Well, you have to be organized. You have to be consistent. This is the engineering part now. Uh, you have to be well planned out to prevent maintenance as much as you possibly can every single day. Um, and then again, on the other end of it, when we know something has happened, even if I know it's been resolved, I'll make phone calls once in a while to the guests say, Hi, I heard we were up there last night. Uh, everything work out for you? Oh, yeah, everything was great. Thanks. Oh, we're so happy. Blah, blah, blah. I see them in the elevator when they're checking out, and we make, Oh, so how did you stay? Go, how is everything? And it's sincere. It's not just like, Oh, so how was your stay? It's, it's, you know, they could tell that I'm very adamant about that they had a good stay. Hopefully not scary so, but, um, you know, adamant that, that they had a sincere, great experience. And then I always say, well, you know, you're always welcome back. And if they say, well, I've been here for a month and I'm checking out, I say, oh, come on, stay two more weeks. <laughs> you know, so they always get that, uh, you know, that final farewell from not just the front desk. This is their home when they're not, when they're not at their houses. This is, their, this is where they come to stay. This needs to feel like home. Pat's very much a renaissance man. To have somebody that is mechanically inclined that can keep your internet running and plunge a toilet and do the day-to-day -day stuff that he has and yet, you know, he writes poetry, he sings, he writes his own music, um, you know, he, he has his own CDs. Uh, it's really great to have that creative side along with the mechanical side that's very key as a chief engineer. He used the guitar as a way of saying, you know what, you know, we are one group, we are one family, you, you know, um, reach out to the guests with the same experience that I am showing you right now, you know, so, um, so that's mainly why I think it's so, he's so instrumental in the company. And if I held you all through this lifetime, could you feel it too? This love I have for you. Great. Great <laughs> Pat Norton Original. Awesome. On behalf of the residents and by Marriott Times Square, we are so proud of you, Pat. Congratulations.